taking a beating. It's on to Ask m &R Productions. What's going on everybody? It's me Ryan here, m &R Productions, and welcome to Ask m &R Productions number 17. This is the series where you can ask me questions and I will answer them for you. If you guys have a question you want answered for next week, leave in the comment section below right now and maybe I'll pick it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Guys, Star Wars The Last Jedi comes out in just two days. That's incredible. I can't wait. I'm seeing it opening night and I want to know what you think is going to happen in Star Wars The Last Jedi. So leave it in the comment section below. Leave your predictions. I want to know what do you think is going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not even going to take a wild guess because there's so many different things that could happen. But let me know what you think maybe one of the main plot points will be or main character death. Like obviously maybe Leia might die. But uh, who knows? Anything could happen. So without further ado, let's hop right into the first question. This question from Tablet77777 says, Can you do a Destroying Leppin minifigure video? Yes, I will be. I actually just got some fake LEGO minifigures. Here's some of them here. We have a First Order Stormtrooper. We have Captain Phasma. So I got a bunch of different ones. Kylo Ren. We had a Flame Trooper that just fell. Uncar Stug and a Female Resistance Trooper. So lots of fake LEGO minifigures I actually just got in the mail. I'm going to be doing videos on those for you guys. And I'll be destroying them as part of the video. So I'll be comparing them to the figure and then destroying them at the end of the video so make sure you guys check those videos out they'll be on the channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them Emil says imagine a brickheads general grievous and yes I can imagine one in fact I've actually seen one not in an actual official model but a custom model and I'll put it up on the screen here man I actually really do like this and I really hope Lego does make it happen because I think a brickheads general grievous could be really cool I think the only problem they might have is getting him to have four arms but maybe they just give him two because you know they connect and whatnot but even better possibly would be a co-pack with episode 3 ob one so you get brickheads General Grievous and Brickhead's Obi-Wan. KMD Space E says, have you seen the ATST from The Last Jedi set yet? It's meant to come out with the training island and crate sets. Yes, I have actually just seen it. The leak for it just came out yesterday. I won't be showing it on screen. I will be doing a review on it as soon as I get it, but I'm not probably going to upload any pictures of it because the leaked image is very, very blurry. Like you can barely tell what it is and uh, it might have some spoilers in it. I didn't look too hard to try to figure anything out, but I'm not going to be showing the image for you guys here today. But if you want to look it up, it's set number is Lego 75201. Just search on Google or take a peek around Instagram, you should be able to find it somewhere. Kylo Ren, who wants to know how long I have been collecting Lego sets. I've been collecting Lego sets since I was like five years old. So around 2002 is when I got my first Lego set. Now I didn't get serious about collecting until 2005 when Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith came out. That's when I like actually started to care because I went and saw the movie and I was like, oh my God, Star Wars is amazing. And so that's probably around 2005 since then I have been like collecting seriously, but I got my first set in 2002. So 2005 is when I started actually getting sets because like I have a lot of the sets from the original episode 3 era and I've gone back and bought some from earlier eras but around episode 3 2005 is when I started actually collecting and caring and then 2009 is when I started YouTube. The Black Moon Studio says where do you get your Lego leak sources? So where do like okay so there's some things that I see that aren't leaked like sometimes uh, someone will send me something that hasn't actually leaked out like it it's a leak but it's a very private leak so like I'm not really allowed to talk about it or show anyone and if I do, I get in trouble. Um, but I'm going to call my, my source from now on, no matter who it is, who gives it to me, it's just going to be Lego Bob 35. And it's, uh, that's just going to be my source name. It doesn't matter if, uh, person X or person Y gave it to me. They're both Lego Bob 35 as far as you're concerned. Blue Foxy says, m &R Productions, do you think Lego should remake the Venator Republic attack cruiser to an episode three Revenge of the Sith model with lots of minifigures and a much more sleek and accurate design? If so, what price would it be aimed at? Uh, I think that would be a great idea, actually. I would love to see LEGO go back and reduce some more Episode 3 sets, namely the Venator. <laughs> um, that would be a really nice one. Get some new Phase 2 clone trippers, maybe a Chancellor, new Chancellor figure. I mean, who knows what they could include with that, but uh, I would love that. And I think it would go really well around the $150 or $160 price point. Um, if they were to make it a little bit longer, a little bit sleeker, a little bit more tight on the design, like the old one had some gaps in it, but I think if they made a new one, it could be a lot, lot better. And I would just love to see new one for like $150, $160, much like the First Order Super Star Destroyer set that we just got from The Last Jedi, so that's my main wish for that. Adoyer Lego Studios, I think that's how you say your name, says, will you be doing vlogs for Brickworld Chicago 2018 as the 2017 ones are the reason I will be going in 2018? Well, that's awesome. Yes, I will be doing vlogs just like 2017. Uh, I'm really excited for Brickworld this year. Guys, if you don't know what Brickworld Chicago is, it's an event held in Chicago. It's basically a giant Lego convention, and that's like the main place to be for like at least like me and my group of friends, and hopefully you guys show up there too. It's going to be a great time this year. I think tickets go on sale like January 1st, so make sure you guys check that out, Brickworld Chicago. 
Eric Rowe says, what do you think of Death Troopers? I think Death Troopers are some of LEGO's best minifigures. I really, really like them. I think LEGO's done a great job with that minifigure from Rogue One, and I just really love it. I kind of have a small army of them, and I really am tempted to get a lot more because they just look amazing. Like, the all sleek black design with the really nice helmet mold, and they got really nice prints, and they have little green dots on the bottom of their helmet. It just looks really, really awesome. And Death Trooper is honestly one of my favorite LEGO Star Wars Trooper minifigures. Battlefront Doge Battlefront 2 says, Ask Aminar, oh, oh my god, you have really cool socks. Well, thank you. Anyways, my question is, is there a Lego set that you think should never be made, like something that would not sell very well? So he's thinking of something that Lego hasn't made that I still think Lego should never make. As much as I hate to say it, I think any type of UCS Clone Wars set probably wouldn't sell that great. As much as I would love to see a UCS ARC-170 or a UCS Clone Turbo Tank, UCS Clone Gunship, I just don't think it would sell well. I would love to see one, don't get me wrong, I would buy it so fast, but I just don't think they would sell well. I, I think they should definitely try it, but I just don't think it would work very well for them. Uh, that would probably be my choice for something I don't think LEGO should make, just like if you're thinking of something that would or wouldn't do well. Aiden Ross says, Eminem Productions, which Star Wars movie is your favorite and why? And I think I've answered this before, but I figured I'd answer it again as we approach The Last Jedi. And my my choices are between, like, Episode 3, Episode 5, and I really liked Rogue One, and I really liked The Force Awakens. So, like, those are my top four, and I can't really just pick one. That's, like, my problem. That There's too many Star Wars movies for me to just pick one, and they're, like kind of meshed in for me. I know a lot of people are going to pick episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, and as a child, I really loved the Battle of Hoth. Like, that was my favorite thing about Star Wars for quite a long time, and probably still is, but I, I just don't have a absolute favorite movie that I would pick over all of the others if I had to pick one. Those are like my top four, but I don't have an absolute favorite, unfortunately. Hey, maybe The Last Jedi will be it. Who knows? Ultra Cheesy Studio says, what is your favorite Lego bounty hunter excluding Django and Boba? I think the Lego Dengar is probably my favorite Lego bounty hunter. It just has this nostalgic thing for me. It's one of those first figures that I had, and I had him back in 2006, actually. I got him with the Slave One, and then he's come out in a few sets since. Most recently, the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack, and they have really improved the figure. I really like the look of the original figure, and I really like the look of the new figure. I think that's probably my favorite non-Fet bounty hunter. All right, guys, this is a long one, but I'm going to shorten it up for you guys. He essentially wants to know when the 2018 sets are coming out because he wants some for Christmas. Now, there are some sets that are slated for release January 1st and those sets are like a couple of the battle packs um, the General Grievous Speeder the Octu Island Training the First Order ATST and the Battle of Crate I believe and then you have some sets that are coming out in April like the Mos Eisley Cantina and the Han Solo sets so like there's two different waves but the ones that are coming out January 1st, you'll be able to find them in stores like starting this week. Like they might start to trickle in. I know some of them are all already available in Australia. So if you guys live in Australia, I would check your local shops there. But um, other than that, it's really hard to know exactly when because LEGO doesn't announce this type of thing. But it's, um, it's widely accepted that it will be January 1st at like widespread. But you can usually find them early at Target, Walmart, and Toys R Us. Rich Catwright says, what adult themed franchise that Lego would never produce would you like to see? I would love to see like Family Guy. I know I know Mega Constructs or Mega Blocks has done a lot of this stuff, but I would like to see Family Guy. That's one of my favorite like TV shows that I haven't watched in a while. Rick and Morty. I know there's gonna be a few here, guys. I'm gonna list them off. Family Guy, Rick and Morty, Breaking Bad. Oh, I love Breaking Bad is like one of my favorite TV shows ever. Breaking Bad. Um, American Dad, maybe. They could do something with that. I, I used to like that TV show. And then my last choice would be Call of Duty because I really like Call of Duty. So those are my five choices there. To recap, American Dad, Family Guy, Call of Duty, Breaking Bad, and Rick and Morty. Those would be my five adult themes that I would like to see LEGO make that they would obviously never make, unfortunately. They did do The Simpsons, so maybe they do Family Guy or American Dad because they're both cartoons as well, but I feel like The Simpsons is a little bit more um, taken away from reality because they're yellow people with weird shapes and stuff, so that probably added into why LEGO would be able to do that, but God, I wish they would do like Call of Duty or really Breaking Bad would be my favorite there, But or Rick and Morty. Gosh, I'm really into Rick and Morty lately, so any of those would do just fine, but I just don't think any of them will ever happen. Luke says, what is your favorite LEGO Star Wars box art? There have been a lot of different box arts over the year for Star Wars, and I just think the 2009 Clone Wars era box art was probably my favorite. I love the clone trooper on the top right. The blue coloring looked really good to me, and that's probably my favorite. I also really like the sleekness of the UCS boxes recently. Those are probably really cool as well. And another one of my favorites is the 2004 box art with the lightsaber hand and the blue, and I just kind of really liked that one as well. So those are a few of my favorites 
favorites. I don't have one like overarching favorite, kind of like the same answer I have for movies, but those are a few of the best box arts that I've that have been around over the years. And lastly, Brandon says, would you like a UCS ATAT? -AT? I, I would actually really like one. I think it would look really cool up on the shelf. It would be like 400 bucks. It could be really big. I would just love it. Um, I think Lego has probably tried to design one, and I think they've maybe had problems with stability or build quality, stuff like that. And I feel like they're probably still working on it, trying to perfect it, waiting for new pieces. Like, I, I don't understand why they wouldn't make one. It's such a popular ship or, you know, vehicle in Star Wars that it just would make so much sense for them to do one. But I think they're just kind of waiting for the right time for their you know for their line of sets to fit it in so maybe we'll see it at some point in the future i would love to see one i'm sure a lot of other people would like to see one and i'm sure it would sell like hotcakes because it's such a popular ship it would go really well right now with the ucs snow speeder still on shelves so fingers crossed we'll get one in the future guys thank you all for watching this week's ask Gaminar productions if you guys have a question for next week leave in the comment section below remember let me know what you think is going to happen in the last jedi i'm really curious what your predictions are if you get your prediction right and your comment was posted before the movie comes out i will give you a little shout out before the next episode and i'll show your comment on the screen like i do with questions so thank you guys for watching hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel i'll see you on the next ask on our productions peace out <laughs>